Scientists cloned mice using freeze-dried one skin cells. X species and overcome the challenges of today methods of storing genetic material in biobanks. Freeze drying is a method of freeze drying materials using reduced Kretli and gaseous state by passing the liquid state. As a result of this process, the product loses a significant part of its weight, and moisture is reduced to almost zero. This technique it stops the growth of microorganisms and is one of the best processes preservation of food products. Now it has been used for storage genetic information and for cloning. Researchers and international organizations have been warning for years that extinction is progressing faster and faster around the world. Climate change can bring to extinction even a million species known to us today. But this for this reason, centers have been established in many countries where samples are stored endangered plants and animals to enable their cloning in the future. These samples are typically preserved using liquid nitrogen or stored at very low temperatures. This is very expensive, and the collected material may be destroyed as a result of, for example, power outages. New research on the use of freeze drying for genetic material storage published in Nature Communications. Scientists from Japan's Yamanashi University wanted to see if they can solve these problems by freeze-drying cells and trying then create clones from them. Researchers experimented with two types of cells Misik and discovered that although freeze-drying killed them and caused significant DNA damage, you can still produce cloned blastocysts from them, a ball of cells that develops into an embryo. It was cloned this way 75 mice. One of the mice survived for a year and nine months, and the team with he successfully combined female and male cloned mice with naturally born one's partners, obtaining healthy young rodents. However, cloned mice produced fewer offspring than could be produced expect from naturally born mice. Also one of the cell lines only female mouse clones produced male mice. Fixing these mistakes shouldn't be difficult things involved in the research of Professor Terahiko Wakayama of Yamanashi University. We believe that in the future we will be able to eliminate errors and increase birth rate, among others by improving drying methods, Wakayama said. There are some other disadvantages of the method success rate cloning mice from cells stored in liquid nitrogen or ultra low temperatures range from 2 to 5 percent while the method freeze drying gives a result of 0.02 percent but wakayama says the technique is still there in the initial phase of testing the most important thing is that cloned mice they were produced from freeze dried somatic cells and that we achieved breakthrough in this field says scientist Although the method probably won't replace it completely cryopreservation is a very important advance for scientists who work on for the development of biobanks and the preservation of biodiversity on our planet. The study stored freeze-dried cells at temperature minus 30 degrees Celsius, but the team previously showed that it was freeze-dried mouse sperm can survive for at least a year at room temperature. This technique could eventually allow storage genetic resources from around the world cheaply and safely, says Wakayama.